In our last A Plus video, where we were focusing on laptop hardware, we talked about keyboards, and I mentioned how important the selection of the keyboard is for your end users. There's another selection that's not obvious to the end user, but it's going to be really critical for your end user's happiness, and that is the amount of RAM that is in the laptop. This is a really important selection on certain laptops today because the RAM isn't practically upgradable. <laughs> you can't just easily open the laptop case and stick more RAM in it. Apple is a great example of this. We want to carefully select the RAM for like a MacBook Air because the RAM is soldered onto the motherboard and it's not something that we can upgrade after the fact. Let's get into the details here in today's video. So a great trick for you to immediately tell if you can upgrade the RAM on your laptop, and this trick would work for a PC as well, a desktop PC, head up to crucial.com. They're a provider of memory upgrades. And one of the nice things that they've always done is they have this scan computer feature. So I went ahead and downloaded this and ran it on my Mac and look at the results. It says, hey, you've got a 15 inch 2019 MacBook Pro and you have two 16 gig DDR4 memory modules inside of it. So I've got 32 gig on this MacBook Pro and it says, sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is a prime example of what I was talking about. This is a system where we have to outfit it with the amount of memory that we want and need because we can't upgrade it after the fact. Now, the great news is many laptops do give you the ability to upgrade the laptop memory. And what you want to make sure of is, first of all, that you understand the principle of diminishing returns here with these upgrades. For example, if you take someone's laptop from let's say two gig of RAM to four gig of RAM, they're gonna notice a massive difference. They'll probably notice a great difference when you take them from four gig to eight gig. But once we get like to eight gig to 16, it's gonna be less noticeable, 16 to 32, less noticeable. So just understand that there is kind of a factor of diminishing returns here. Also, just like we discussed when we were talking about the replacement of a laptop keyboard, we really want to read the service manual. We want to make sure that we don't do damage to any part of the laptop as we are taking it apart to upgrade the RAM. Now, a lot of laptops actually will make the RAM upgrade the easiest thing ever because they'll do a little compartment with just like two screws holding the compartment door in place. So you just need to take out those two screws and then follow the instructions on installing the RAM. But I don't care what type of installation we need to do, really check that service manual to make sure you're following the step-by-steps. And then of course, the memory modules are extremely sensitive to damage by static electricity. So we want to make sure we have our electrostatic discharge devices on hand. You're going to want to be on an ESD mat. You're going to want to have the ESD wrist strap. You're going to want to use ESD bags so that you take the old RAM out potentially and put that in the proper electrostatic discharge bag. Certainly your RAM upgrade will come in one of these bags. So make sure we don't damage that valuable memory as we are doing the upgrade. 